Hey guys, Maywit here, and today I've got something that's gonna blow you away. Something that's definitely gonna be worth putting up with my crappy sound quality for. As you guys all know, about a year and nine months ago, I invented, uh, well not really invented, but I came up with like false reporting and made a tutorial on how to do it. And I, I've always been predicting, I've said multiple times, that eventually someone's gonna take my process and improve upon it to make it a million times better and easier. And well, the day has finally come. I mean, He's not the first person to try and revolutionize it, but he is definitely the one who's revolutionized it the most. I mean, first some guy made this program where, like, you could copy and paste a scoreboard and chat on, like, your single- like, a custom scoreboard and chat in a real mind click tree shot, but that required Photoshop skills, which defeat the whole purpose of false reporting. Then someone actually made, like, this little generator that would generate the commands for you to copy and paste, which did save me a little time, but today, I'm going to show you the newest invention in false reporting. And that is the ultimate false reporting machine. I mean, that's at least the name I get. So, I'm going to do it to whoever kills me in this micro battles game. I'm not going to try and get myself killed, but whoever kills me is going to get false reported. So, let's see who that ends up being. Alright, so I'm actually doing good so far. Probably not going to win this one because you got those stupid red teamers. Alright, yeah, so one of these guys is getting false reported. Don't know who it is yet, but, uh... I, I hear them coming up, so... It's gonna happen soon. Oh, yep, there he is. Alright, so that guy's getting false reported. Congrats, uh, let's see who was that. Ab for Haram. Okay, yep, that guy's definitely getting false reported. I'm just gonna say his name in chat. Let me show you how this thing works. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Alright, good. I just have to see his level and rank, obvi obviously. And if he doesn't, I guess I can talk to one of his teammates. Or he can just false a private message, I mean. Uh, Alright, so let me just show you how this works while we. So basically what you do, so here's just an example, uh, this is like a custom mod that someone made and sent to me, just press the execute button, and look at that, right on the Mindplex server, only I see this, this is, like, oh, none of these guys saw what I just sent, but see, you, got, you just type in the level, the rank, the username, and then the message, so, uh, alright, how about we just false report the Phantom Oreo, because I don't like him, let's see, he's a level 25, uh, he's a level 25, uh, legend, Let's see. It's good. The Phantom Oreo level 25 rank of user legend. And this goes like all the way up to like owner. Obviously not dumb enough to false report like one of those guys. So let's see, we got legend. And let's have him call me a certain bad word. Here, let's have him say that. So now, alright, so I'm gonna wait for the next game to do this. So, yeah, once the next game comes, I'm just gonna generate that message, screenshot it, make the false report, and I'll send you guys the results of that report. Alright, so we're in another game. So now, let's generate the message. There we go. And look at that, we have the players in the background. Now let's see how that screenshot turned out. Alright, so that screenshot didn't turn out as well as I would like it. I mean, it's not like it was bad or anything, but like there weren't enough players in there and not much of the map shown, so... Like, I want something that like, is guaranteed to get the staff to accept it. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to humiliate the staff member for accepting this since it's going to be a perfect forge, but... I mean, just saying, you know... I just want a better screenshot, basically, so we're gonna try again uh, in this next game. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get, like, this guy's particles in here, too. That'd probably make it more convincing. Just press the execute button. That message appears. Alright, see how that one turned out. And if it didn't turn out well, then, you know, we could always just check it again. The false report that we made with the mod has been accepted. And MicroLion is not your fault for accepting this since it was a perfect forge, you know. There's nothing you could have done. So don't harass them, guys. And, uh, 
point is was to show, you know, you can make perfect false reports in less than five seconds with this mod. Now, there is one bit of bad news. Um, this mod is not available publicly yet. Person who made it specifically requested me not to like post a download link or anything like that. So unfortunately, it will not be uh, public for now. But who knows? Maybe one day he'll let me make it public, and or he'll make it public himself, and then yeah, you know, we could all make false reports in five seconds. So you know, if someone gets mad at you, and if you get mad at someone in the game, you know, just put their name, level, rank in there, and boom, false report them. And as you can see, it's going to get accepted. Um. Another thing, before you all ask, hey, Maywet, how, how are you able to know that the report was accepted like that? No one's able to see reports, and you're right. No one is able to see reports, except for staff. See, if you've been following my engine well, you know I did a little staff member a favor where I helped to make a false report. Obviously, you guys know I probably wouldn't do something like that unless I got something in, in return, so there you go. <laughs> Pretty good trade-off, if you ask me. Well... Anyways, uh, that's all for today, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe for more. And um, who knows, maybe this will be available for public download one day so you all can make these perfect false reports too. See you next time.